Hi, I'm Gina John, Pilates trainer in London, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're ready and warmed up for your Power Pilates class today with me. So um, let's go down on the mat and get started. Turn out position through your legs. So you're squeezing your buttocks firmly together, drawing back navel to spine, and squeezing around the buttocks on both sides. We're exhaling to kick the leg up, alternating left and right. Really stretch the knee. upper body straight and take it back as far as you can with those straight arms outstretched behind you. Now for more of a challenge, we're going to lift the heels, really draw back those tummy muscles, navel to spine, and we're kicking. Exhale, kick, heels together, kick, heels together. Use that out breath as you kick the leg up to the ceiling each time. Stretch the knees, point through your toes. Drawing in tightly, navel to spine, as we kick up those legs. Pressing down the shoulders right away from your ears as you maintain your upper body posture. And last one. Well done. Now let's bring the feet in. We're going to come back down onto the mat now, ready for some hip circles. So lying back down, get yourself nice and comfortable. Stretch one leg down on the mat with the foot flexed. Take the other knee up over the hip and extend all the way to the ceiling. We're circling that top leg in, down and out. In, down and out. Really point the toes up to the ceiling, stretching through the knee. Drawing back the tummy, navel to spine as we circle. Keep pressing down your shoulders and the backs of your arms as you circle the upper leg. Taking it as far as you can without unbalancing your pelvis. And let's reverse that circle. Exploring the limits of that rotation through the hip joint while keeping the pelvis nice and stable. Pressing down the rest of the body into the mat. Let's bend the knee in and stretch it along the mat. Have the foot flexed on the mat. Bend the other knee up and straighten the leg up to the ceiling. Keep turning through your hip joint in, down and out, turning the knee, in, down and out. Come in as tightly as you can, pressing down the rest of the body into the mat. And reversing that circle. Keep pressing down the shoulders and the backs of your arms, trying to isolate the movement through that hip joint while keeping the pelvis nice and still on the mat. back in and lower the foot. Bring the feet back in together, press your legs firmly together and stretch the legs up to the ceiling ready for a rollover. Keep the legs tightly pressed together as you exhale, taking the legs up over the head. Breathe in to open the legs. Breathe out to wheel the body back into the mat. Take a breath in as you bring the legs together, breathing out as you roll over. Breathe in to open 
and breathing out as you roll back into the mat again. Breathe in, legs together, and out as you roll over. Breathe in as you open, and out to roll back again. In to bring them together, and out to roll over. Breathe in to open, and out to roll back. Really stretch through the knees and the toes throughout that roll over. If you can work with your arms up towards the ceiling, so much the better. Really relying on those core muscles to take the body over and control the roll back to neutral. Legs together, use the tummy, pull the legs overhead, open them again and roll the body back into the mat. And legs together and then rolling over, opening them again and rolling back up. Now we're combining a, a leg rocker with your roll up, coming up onto the tailbone and then take the legs over again. Open them, rolling up, bring the legs together and over again. Open your legs, exhale, rolling up, pressing down those shoulders as you bring the legs over again. Press circular motion with your arms, bringing the arms back to your teaser position. Bring the legs in. Okay, let's slide the legs down on the mat. Ready to make a forward plank. Push down the shoulders, press down the legs firmly into the mat, and we're exhaling as we lift the tailbone. Kick up the leg. Exhale to kick up. Keep pushing down on your supporting leg as you kick up the other leg. Stretch the knee, point the toes away. Working hard into that supporting leg as you kick up the other side. And gently lower the tailbone down. Straightening the mat if necessary. And we're coming back for a half hinge for the abdominals. We're bringing the hands across the shoulders. Pulling the tummy really tightly and just hinge back. Keep your back straight and lift again. We're exhaling as we lean back. We're breathing in to come back up to sit straight again. Keep pushing down your legs. Keep pressing into the heels with the feet flexed. Exhale to lower and breathing in as you come up to sit straight. Exhale to lower, breathe in as you sit straight again. And now let's do it for a count of four to really work on the endurance of those abdominals. We're going back, one, two, three, four, and up and lower one two three four and up one two three four and up push the shoulders to the hips pressing into the heels keeping the length through your back and a one two three four and up and last time, one, two, three, four, and up. Okay, well done. So, going into our full neck pull, arguably the most difficult roll down and curl up exercise in Pilates, 
We are sitting with the hands behind the head. We push into the heels and as in the last exercise, we want to lower the body as far as we can towards the mat. Keep pushing into your heels and curve your tailbone under, wheeling the low back into the mat. Keep pushing into the heels. Breathe in and lift your head. Breathe out. As you curl, rolling up, all the way up and over. Breathing in as you rebuild the spine. Sit up really straight and press down the shoulders. On the out breath, we're hinging back. Squeeze the shoulders down, away from your ears. And then when you can go no further, start curving. Draw the navel in further and wheeling into the mat. We're breathing in to lift the head. Out to roll up further while keeping your elbows out to the side. Sitting up nice and tall and hinge, pushing down those legs. Feel the work of the tummy holding you in position and then curve under the tailbone into the mat. Breathing in as you lift your head. Out to come up further, all the way up and over this time. And then to sit straight, rebuild the spine. Hinge back, as far as you can, until you can go no more with a straight back. And curving under, wheel the body into the mat. Breathing in as you lift your head and out to roll up and over. And tilting the pelvis under to roll back through to neutral. And then let's sit up nice and straight again. Okay, let's pop the arms down onto the mat or the floor beside you. Take them quite far back. Press your legs together and we're going to do the can-can exercise. So for that, pull the knees in and take the legs up. We're pressing the legs firmly together. Keep the shoulders pushed down away from your ears. As you take the legs one way, keep looking forwards. Breathe in, hold. Breathe out to move your legs up and over to the other side. Breathe in, hold. And breathing out as you take the legs up and over. We're trying to keep the shoulders down, away from the ears, while we're repeatedly moving the legs to the left and the right. Rotating through the waist, working hard into those abdominals to take the weight of the legs. Exhale. In and exhale. Breathe and hold. Breathing out as you take the legs to the other side. And a few more times. Up and over. Up and over. Squeezing the legs really tightly together. And let's gently lower the legs down onto the mat. And stretch. Bend and stretch the knees. Breathe in as you bend them. Breathing out to press them into the mat each time. A nice stretch and release the, through those back muscles. Stretch and releasing those back muscles and into the back of the legs as we bend and stretch and hold the feet flexed. Pull the body over the legs. Maintain that stretch. Breathe nice and deeply. Filling up the back of the rib cage. And slowly rolling back up again. Okay, if you have uh, an over ball, soft ball, or something light, uh, that's useful for the next exercise. Otherwise, you can work with your hands simply clasped together. You take the legs out to the side a little bit, so shoulder width apart with the legs. And we're gonna roll back down into the mat, curving under. Take your ball overhead. Coming into an oblique curl, we're lifting one leg and stretching towards it. 
and lowering back down. Nice and fast now. As we go left and right and push up to the foot. Exhale, really reach with all your effort. Tummy in really tightly. Squeeze and navel to spine. And reach, and reach, and reach. Ten more if you can. Stretch the knees, stretch the toes. sure that we're now nice and comfortable on the mat. Starting off, the arms are alongside the hips. We're beating the arms, breathing in for four beats, breathing out for four beats. Keep pulling in the tummy with maximum effort, drawing in the navel towards your spine. Bending up the knees on the out breath, one and two. Keep squeezing your shoulders to your hips. The elbows are ever so slightly bent. We're working from under the shoulder blades, pressing to the hips. Our feet are together and the knees are just a little apart over the hip joints. On the next big out breath, curling up, head and shoulders off the mat. Keep pulsing the arms. Drawing in tightly, navel to spine. On the next big out breath, let's stretch the legs right up to the ceiling. Point the toes, press your inner thighs firmly together, maintaining those little arm beats. Opening out the toes, but press the inner thighs and heels together. If you're feeling that you're coming to the end, of your energy levels with this. You can keep the legs up for as long as you can, beating the arms away. If you're up to a further challenge, super advanced level, we're taking the legs away, gradually lengthening through the legs and the feet and lifting your head, bringing your nose level with your toes. Draw in navel to spine with maximum effort as we continue to beat the arms away. Last 10 of those if you can. And pulling the knees in. Take a nice few deep breaths, filling up through the back of the rib cage, feeling that expansion all the way through to the sides, relaxing and releasing. Rolling up. Okay, we are coming over now onto the tummy muscle for the dart exercise. So, let's pop the head down onto a pillow, something soft, comfortable for the forehead, and bring the hands alongside the hips. Squeeze the legs tightly together. Make sure the feet are in contact and the toes are staying down on the mat and we're exhaling to lift the upper body, 
breathe in, hold, and out to lower back down. Exhaling as you lift, squeeze the inner thighs together, in to hold, and out as you lower. Lifting on the out breath, holding on the in breath, and breathing out to lower. Press the hands against the thighs as you hold the position. Checking that your feet are touching and your toes are down on the floor. Really push the shoulder blades towards the back of the waist. Maintaining the dart for the in-breath and then out to release down. Now let's maintain that dart position and we're going to add side bend. Left and right, left and right. Keep your eye level down to the mat. Lengthen through the back of your neck, reaching left and right. Be sure to feel the connection through your tummy muscles and into your pelvic floor. few times and then releasing your head down take a breath and then we're coming up for another set of those side reaches pressing the legs really firmly together squeeze around the buttocks inner thighs working hard to keep your legs in contact with each other Lengthening up through the back of the neck and your, the crown of the head. Giving those waist muscles a real workout. Last 10 if you can. And releasing gently back down onto the mat. Ready for some heel beats. We stay in that turn out position and we're lifting the heels just an inch from the mat. Really extend way through your legs and we're tapping the heels together. Squeeze tightly into the buttocks. Maintain the rotation through the limbs in that turn out position. Watch that the shoulders don't ride up to your ears. Keep them pressed slightly down towards the mid back. Keep drawing in navel to spine, tucking under the tailbone to keep those glutes activated. Another 20 little heel beats if you can. Well done, they go fast, don't they? And let's come up onto the hands and knees. Nice straight back position, ready for a cat stretch, and on the out breath, curving under. Draw the tailbone towards your forehead, breathe and hold. Breathe out to return to that tabletop position. Exhale, curving under. Breathe in, hold. Breathing out to return to the tabletop position. Really scoop the navel up to the ceiling each time, getting your maximum curve in that stretch position. Shoulders pressed to the hips as we return to the tabletop.
from that tabletop position, extend one leg away and lift into the Superman position. We're pulling in elbow towards the knee and then extend away. Keep the eye level down to the floor and pull in elbow to knee and extend away. We're exhaling as we curve in. We're breathing in to extend away. Keeping the eye level down to the floor. Trying to stabilise the pelvis as we keep the body moving. Coming back now into your tabletop position and changing to the other side. So you want to extend one leg away, stretch the opposite arm and we're curving, bringing in the elbow to the opposite knee and reach away, pull in and reach away, pulling in and reaching away. Press down the shoulder as you lift your arm. to knee and stretch, elbow to knee and stretch. And just resting back onto the heels for a moment, stretching out your upper body. Nice deep breathing into the back. Opening up through the rib cage, letting go of any tension through the shoulders and your neck. And now let's come up again. We're staying in a four point kneeling tabletop position, but we are lowering one forearm towards the mat. We're keeping the feet and the knees together for our first exercise. So the forearm is down onto the mat and the other arm is straight. And on the straight arm side, we are lifting and lowering repeatedly. Exhale, lift into lower. Exhale, lift into lower. And build up your speed. Squeeze the buttock as you repeatedly open out that leg. Keep pressing your shoulders to your hips. Try and keep your neck in line with your upper body, working through the back of the neck and upper back muscles. feeling that hard work into the buttock area and another 10 if you can. Well done. Now let's extend the leg, stretch out that leg fully now and flex the foot. We're repeatedly pushing up the leg. Push, push, push. Squeeze back the tummy, navel to spine with maximum effort as you push that heel up to the ceiling. Starting to feel the fatigue into the arms and that supporting leg, which are maintaining the body's posture while we repeatedly work the leg. Last 10. And bring the knee 
belly back in, resting back onto your heels for a moment. We're going to change to the other side. So the forearm is down onto the mat and the straight arm is on the side of the leg that we're repeatedly lifting. Keep the back straight. Work your shoulders to help maintain your posture. Squeezing and navel to spine with maximum effort. And 10 more if you can. Extend the leg away and small pulses, pushing up that heel. Work hard through your upper body. Keeping the shoulder posture, pressing the shoulder blades down towards the back of your waist. Checking that the neck stays in alignment with your upper back, working through the neck and upper back muscles. and bring the knees back in. So together. now for a stretch for the buttocks and hips and hamstrings, let's bring one foot forwards, sit back a little bit into that back leg. So have your body weight back over the heel behind you and we are stretching out the leg in front we're pointing and flexing that top foot we're trying to relax the head down towards the knee as far as you can while you're flexing and pointing that front foot feel the stretch all the way through the back of your leg point flex point flex You might feel after a few repetitions that you can take your head a little bit lower, getting your maximum stretch through the back of your leg. Now going into a buttock stretch and hip stretch, bring the foot and leg in front. Try and get your pelvis as straight as possible while you're maintaining that stretch. Keep the chest lifted. Feeling that stretch around the hip and thigh. And through to the buttock. And then lifting ourselves out of that position. Take the other foot in the hamstring stretch. We're pointing and flexing the top foot. We have the head down over the knee of that outstretched leg. Let your neck release over the knee. Point and flex, point and flex the foot. See if you can go a little bit further as the muscles release through the back of your leg. stretch for the buttock and hip muscles, we're bringing the leg in front, bending at the knee, we're trying to get the pelvis over so that we're not tilted to the side, pull it over, feel that stretch through the hip and buttock, keep lifting the chest. And then 
lifting ourselves out of that position. So for anyone who lacks adequate flexibility to go into that position for that buttock and hip stretch, the alternative is to come onto the mat and do the classic buttock stretch. Ankle over the opposite knee, pull up the lower leg towards the chest nice and firmly. Hold it in there, feeling that stretch through the upper leg, hip and buttock. And we hold these static stretches for around 20 seconds. And then we change over to the other side. Put that foot down, hook the other foot across the knee and then pulling up that lower leg nice and firmly towards your chest. And holding it there for around 20 seconds. And gently lowering the foot down and uncrossing the legs. So thank you very much for your attention and hard work today and I hope you've really enjoyed your Power Pilates class. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you for the next class. Bye for now, take care.